Welcome to Simply Logical. This is Vengtesh. In this video, I am going to present you most tricky interview math riddles to test your logical skills. Do not worry if you fail to answer these questions. Through practice, you gradually improve your ability to solve the problems. Before checking the questions, if you are new to the channel, do subscribe to the channel and enable notifications so that you do not miss any of our videos. Let's check the riddles now. A man was suffering from severe headaches. He went to see his doctor and the doctor gave him 5 tablets asking him to take one tablet every 15 minutes. How much time will it take to a man to consume all the 5 tablets? Most of the people gives the answer to the puzzle as 1 hour 15 minutes but it's not correct. A man will be able to consume all the 5 tablets in an hour that is 60 minutes. Tablet 1 will be taken at 0th minute, Tablet 2 will be taken at 15th minute, Tablet 3 will be taken at 30th minute, Tablet 4 will be taken at 45th minute and Tablet 5 will be taken at 60th minute. Hence, total time taken by a man to consume all 5 tablets is 60 minutes. Three numbers, if placed in ascending order of their value, can offer a product that is prime when multiplied together. Also, in these numbers, the difference between the second and the first number is equal to the difference between third and the second number. Can you find out those three numbers? The three numbers are minus 3, minus 1 and 1. If these three numbers are multiplied, it offers a product which is 3 is a prime number. Also in these numbers, the difference between the second and the first number is equal to the difference between the third and the second number. The difference here is 2. Two fractions, 1 by 3 and 2 by 3 are given to you. Can you find a fraction that lies one third on the way between them? The answer is 12 by 27. This is really simple if you know the concept. You just have to increase the fraction by multiplying with a number which will not change the value of the fraction but only simplifies. In that way, you will increase the numerator and you will be able to find the required fraction. Here, we are multiplying the numerator and denominator of both the numbers with 9. Now, if you simplify, the number will remain the same and thus don't think we changed the fraction. Now after representing the same number with a different fraction, it's easy to find the one third of the fraction that is 12 divided by 27. What will be the reminder if 2 to the power of 300 is divided by 4? The answer is 0. Now if you go on calculating 2 to the power of 300, you will lose so much time and it might not even be feasible to carry out so long of calculations. Thus, we will make use of a trick here. We will calculate the remainder of each power of 2 till we come across a pattern. Here 2 to the power of 1 divided by 4 leaves the remainder 2. 2 to the power of 2 divided by 4 leaves the remainder 0. 2 to the power of 3 divided by 4 leaves the remainder 0. 2 to the power of 4 divided by 4 leaves the remainder 0. And 2 to the power of 5 divided by 4 also leaves the remainder 0. 
you can see that all the following powers of 2 will be divisible by 4. Therefore, the remainder when 2 to the power of 300 is divided by 4 will be 0 only. Removing 1 from 11 makes it 10 and removing 1 from 9 makes it 10. Is it even possible? As it is possible in Roman numerals, in Roman numerals 9 is represented as i and x and 10 is represented with the letter x and 11 represented with the letter x and i. Thus by removing 1 from 9 you are getting 10 because here 1 is i. If you remove i you will get the value 10. Similarly if you remove 1 in 11 you are getting 10 again. Thus, you can achieve the following statement. So that's all for this video. Do not worry if you have failed to answer these questions. Through practice, you gradually improve your ability to solve the problems. Keep practicing and solve more and more math problems to improve your ability to think and solve. Thanks for watching the video. Let's meet in the next video with one more interesting topic. Thank you.